Hey there, do you suffer from website shame? Do you suffer from logo shame? Are you one of those people that when you go out to an event, you give someone your business card, you're like, oh, uh, um, well, I'm going to have it done, or uh, 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 oh, or this is my website, but it's not really me, like the colors aren't really me, and like I had someone do it. Uh, um, and you really keep making these excuses and putting it off and saying, well, it's not so bad, but, but you realize, don't realize that when you see someone and you meet someone in your body language, in your excuses of like, it's not really the best thing, I don't really love it. You're really putting yourself down. You're making yourself small and it's holding you back. And yes, website redesign can be a hellish practice. I'm not going to lie. We just rebranded focusonstyle.com right now. And I think it's probably about the ninth reiteration of the design. It's much more on top of who I am today, but I could say that I have never ever once had website shame, but I feel for people who do. And because it, it just makes you not feel right. And I know that one of the reasons that you don't go ahead and rebuild your brand and rebrand and redesign to step into your star power is because you're afraid of the tech hell that comes with it. I am not going to lie. I have gone through so many crazy tech problems that I could probably start my own night court for web developer stories. I've seen a bunch of cray crays, but I also know that I've learned how to do a lot of it myself to circumvent the tech hell. But what's important is that when you have website shame, when you feel that your business card, and this is mine, and I actually quite like it, when you feel that when you're handing your card to someone at an event and it's your logo on it, or you're someone is looking at you instantly online and your logo isn't right and you know it but you're putting it off and you're making all these ex excuses for yourself for playing small what ends up happening is it's not just your site that's playing small you're playing small you're not stepping into your star power that look that feel that first visual message that someone gets when they see you online is instant and they're just going to think that you're not as great as you are if you've got kind of a cruddy website. So I really encourage you no matter how bad you think it is to go through the design, sometimes it's really not that horrible. You really need to find the right people to work with or you need to learn how to do it yourself just like I did. And I actually kind of love the whole process of being collaborative and creating a site that really represents me. So think about this the next time your, oh, I don't like my card, or my website's really not me, or that it's not just the visual, it's also the physicality that you become of this very small, meek person who's hiding in this yicky site that's not you. So really, don't let it hold you back. Take the next step and jump into your star power and create a look online in your marketing, in your visual message, in your appearance, in everything that says, hey, I'm here, I'm arrived, and I'm the best at being me. So. Don't forget to pop on over to FocusOnStyle.com and take a look at my new rebranded website design. Tell me what you think. And if you want more star power tips, sign on over on the FocusOnStyle.com insiders page and you'll get all my great tips right there in your inbox with my star power kit. And don't forget to like this video and share and subscribe and tell all your friends because you know what? The more you do your social sharing, the more it signals out to Google and to the rest of the world that you want to see this stuff and you'll be seeing it that way. So please do yourself a favor, share, subscribe, and stop the website shame. If you need any questions, just call me, PM me. I'll tell you how to go on the next steps. Mwah. It's really not that bad. Well, sometimes it is, but it's really not that bad. The end result is worth it. See you soon. Bye-bye.